Yeah. Well, you know, like I said before, so I think we're living to a polarizing society and it's very, people are very dialectic. On both the material side of things and even the, the kind of spiritual absolutist yeah. person who, you know, like the materialist will deny anything that's spiritual and ground their reality from everything below. And then the spiritualist will deny matter altogether. Yeah. And say everything is one. What does that even mean? What's, what's everything is one? I, I don't think this... people who say that and also people who talk about non-duality. I used to say it too. It, and then, all, and then I realized cool. looking back, I'm like, wait, that, that actually doesn't make any. Comp- nobody, but nobody, nobody dares believe in non-duality, at least the way they think they do. They think they believe in non-duality. And you're like, you believe in non-duality. Really? Do you eat your feces? No, you don't eat your feces. So don't tell me you believe in non-duality. What are you talking? What are you even talking about? Like, why does eating your crap relate to <laughs> non-duality? Well, because you don't eat your crap because you believe in duality. Hmm. You believe that some things are outside and some things are inside and you don't mix them together. Hmm. Right? That's that's because you believe in duality. You know, you you live in a house, you wear clothes, you you ha- you 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 function in duality constantly and you experience duality and you live with duality and you don't if you if you believe in absolute non-duality in the way that especially people want and especially in the way that relativizes everything then and there are like there are there you can find traditions that are cannibals you can find traditions that that break all the taboos but i'm not sure many people are willing to go there because it's actually very destructive you know these kind of weird tantric traditions are very destructive to reality you don't, people, most people don't want to destroy reality. They're lying when they say they do because they actually exist. They, they exist. They have a life. They have all these things. And so, and so the idea is that love is a better expression. Like love is a better way to understand it because love has the notion of, of ultimate non-duality in the sense that we all participate in the life of the infinite God. But we're not, we don't, it doesn't mean that everything is relative and everything is illusion. Mm. It means that because God loves us, then we all exist at the level that we do. It's as if God's infinite love also kind of, let's say, moves out of himself into this multiplicity as he's gathering it back into himself. So it's not just like either everything is an illusion and we're all just, you know, we're all just Brahma. Like we're all just drops in the, the you know, the, 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 this kind of vast, like infinite consciousness, uh, it's rather like a balance between unity and multiplicity, right? A, a, an understanding that multiplicity exists that it does, but that ultimately for it to even exist, it has to participate in the oneness. Um, but when people just say things like it's all one or whatever, like John Lennon and, and that kind of nonsense, right? It's like, <laughs> we could all be as one. What are you, what are you talking about? It's just, it's just, it's just, uh, just posturing. Imagine there's <laughs> no heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Man. <laughs> Man. That's one of my least Does that tick you off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He has some good stuff though. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't really. I mean, I like the Beatles. Everybody likes it. No one, everybody. Yeah, who who doesn't like the Beatles? Yeah, who exactly. Doesn't like the Beatles. But uh, that song in particular. Yeah. But it, it's, it, it's ironic because like you're talking about these people who claim to have this absolute experience. And that God is absolute. Everything and literally every single par- particle in the universe is God. Everything in physical reality is just an illusion. But then they're basing their experience of the absolute from a relativistic subjective experience. So it's like this kind of, I don't know, it's just this weirdness because you're claiming absolute reality, but through a subjective lens anyway. So that you can't really escape that that duality. You know what I mean? There's so much wrong. Like, if you really, if you really had an experience that that there's only the absolute and all its manifestations are are complete illusions, you know what you would do? You would shut up. Because why are you speaking? What are you saying? <laughs> yep. It's it's all. That's why that's why you realize that there's just a nonsense to a lot of the a lot of this type of posturing that you hear in kind of in this kind of modern. Uh, spiritualist uh you know reality um and it's not like you don't encounter texts like that in the traditions like there are there are texts or there are traditions would do kind of try to point to the manner in which let's say compared to the infinite like that the infinite is 
something which is beyond duality that the that the infinite does kind of empty itself and and contain everything at the same time and there's an, an, a language of aporia which people use to to talk about that and you see that in the in the even in 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 religious traditions but like I said, this also has to coexist with all the more buffered versions of that in which we also do participate, in which we do go to church, we kneel, we sing, we burn incense, we we do all of these celebrations, you know, and we don't just have this one, this kind of esoteric vision of the infinite that destroys reality. Because mm. that's the that's the problem with a lot of this, with a lot of this stuff, is that people just say mysterious things they just say you know that kind of stuff like you know the universe is in a grain of sand and the grain of sand is the <laughs> whole universe and you're like really is that really you really think that i don't think you do i think you're just <laughs> bullshitting me <laughs> get those social media likes people like to like to hear that yeah stuff. they like that kind of that kind of fluffy stuff <laughs> <laughs>